Hello everybody, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. We are once again in the kitchen for another episode of Cooking with Gigi. Today's video is sponsored by the wonderful Blue Apron. If you check out the description box below, you'll see that the first 50 people to sign up using my link will get $50 off of their first two weeks, which is pretty fantastic. So Blue Apron, if you don't know what it is yet, I have a whole uh, Cooking with GB series you can check out, but they are uh, a service that delivers the recipes and the food measured out perfectly to your door. It comes in this great box. Um, it's nice and insulated with ice packs inside, so if you don't get home till 5 p.m., 6 p.m., totally fine. They have non-GMO ingredients, certified pasture-raised eggs, no added hormones, 100% sustainable seafood, all these fun facts on the box, hello. And you can choose from a two-person plan or a four-person plan depending on like how big you want the uh, the like how many portions you need for each recipe this week I actually chose and this is a this is a first on cooking with GB recipes with meat um, so you can choose there's like eight recipes a week you can pick and choose from online it's really easy to pick what you want and see what ingredients are gonna come with it this week we have spicy glazed chicken and honey butter corn and we also have the one we're making today our Mexican beef bowls so this is uh, like ground beef with rice, jalapenos, mayonnaise, cheese, carrots, tomatoes, lime, and Mexican spice blend so it's like I don't know I just love blue apron because I'm really bad at you know picking the ingredients for myself at the store always get too much or too little um and then like you know like you buy like a huge thing of parsley and you're like what do i do with this for the rest of the week um, before it goes bad so the great thing about blue apron is everything is packaged in the exact amounts that you need that way nothing goes to waste and you don't really have to use any sort of measuring outside of I think um, you have to have like olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's it. So we have some rice here. And I love anything with a rice base. That is like my, my favorite. And they give you like the knickknacks. So this will have all the small stuff. So like we have our mayonnaise already measured out. We have the Mexican spice blend. The jalapenos. They're already cut and your nutrition facts card. So I'm going to follow the instructions on the back of this. I went and highlighted what I wanted to do first. Since this is an ASMR video, I'm going to be doing things a little out of order just so um, once I start preheating the oven, boiling water, it gets kind of loud. So I'm going to start with all the chopping and prepping and then we will cook and combine everything together. So join me and get started so thank you so much Blue Apron for the sponsor once again just check out the description box below because the first 50 people who sign up will get $50 off their first two weeks of Blue Apron okay so the first thing that we're supposed to do is wash and dry the fresh produce so the two things we're gonna have to wash are the carrots and the tomatoes open this And you may recognize this kitchen from a previous blooper video. This is actually James's house, and he's on the side helping me. So James is gonna wash the carrots off camera. Thank you. And we have the tomatoes as well. I'll hand these off to you. And I'll trade you for those carrots. Thank you. So these carrots are getting peeled. So I have a peeler here. 
and I'm really bad at peeling, almost as bad as I am <laughs> with cutting. And you'll just hear James um, off camera, he's going to wash the tomatoes for us. If you have a pet bunny, <laughs> give him the peels. All these peelings, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss in the trash. It's actually right here. Just pull the cap out. Okay. And then it says these are going to be cut crosswise into half inch pieces. Um, you have them lengthwise and then chop, chop, chop. So let me get a knife. This is quite <laughs> big knife here. I'm not sure if this is really what I want to use. You guys know. <laughs> this is always the part you guys uh, either look forward to or dread the most. Making fun of or being terrified by my chopping. So <laughs> I can literally hear the screams of all my poor viewers saying, GB, no, what are you doing? <laughs> let, me, let me get a smaller knife, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to have this lengthwise. Mom, don't watch this video. Thank you. Also, why did you never teach me how to chop vegetables? I feel cheated. Why is cutting a carrot lengthwise so difficult? All right. That is looking good. <laughs> Let's try doing carrot. Lengthwise is uh, <clears throat> not the direction I'll be going in today. Alright, I am tapping in James who claims that he can indeed cut a carrot lengthwise. Go ahead. Okay. All right, somebody who is totally me and not anybody else has cut these carrots lengthwise. And now I just want to get, we're just, um, we're roasting them. I would like to say that I am trying to be nice and quiet while cutting. And that is definitely why I'm doing it so poorly. Okay, we have our carrots. James to pass me the olive oil, salt, and pepper. Thank you. Just do a little drizzle there. You can see how much they use olive oil in this house. salt and you're supposed to put it in your hand first but This is going to go on a 
cookie sheet. So this is going to go in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, um, and then we're going to also start on cutting the tomatoes, the lime, and the pepper. Here are tomatoes, and for this one I actually do want to use the serrated knife. So it says to quarter them. Oh, I kind of squish that one. I guess I'm bad at cutting tomatoes too. And then the lime we're going to cut into. Sorry, thank you. Oh, just halves. That's easy. Just down the middle. Like that. Awesome. Okay. So in our knickknacks here. We have our pickled jalapeno peppers, the mayo and the cheese, and the Mexican spice blend. So these I'll go to the side for now. And it's the jalapeno peppers I think we're just sort of like roughly chopping. There's our nutrition fat. Big knife for this one. Is roughly chopped and for these we're actually going to combine all of this well just one of the lime juices into a bowl so we're gonna slide this into here this is to use as much of the pepper as you want but I really like spice or, I mean I like to think I like spice so we're gonna do that we're going to squeeze the lime. I love lime juice. Oh, this one is super juicy too. Okay. And then we're going to olive oil, salt, and pepper. Olive oil. Salt. 
pepper. And this is a spoon. Okay, so this is going to be set aside and we actually need one more bowl. It's nice to have helper out here. Thank you. Oh. I think this is actually going to go with the beef, this Mexican spice blend. So it says to combine the mayo. juice from the other lime hat. So this one is super juicy. This is going to be on top once we cook everything else. But now that everything is prepped, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the oven, um, boil some water for the rice, and then we're also going to cook the beef. So I will see you when we're all set up with that. This is going to go for another three-ish minutes, like while the water cooks down. So this was actually a really easy recipe. I'm super pleased about it. And again, I just, I just love that, you know, like I wouldn't have made this on my own. If I needed to have lunch today, I probably would have made a peanut butter sandwich or I don't even know, yogurt, something like that. It's just nice to, you know, have these recipes to to make and actually get like fresh food. So this is just sizzling away. The carrots are almost done in the oven. And we have the rice right here, which should be done. So I'm going to get everything out of the oven and get a bowl because the last thing we need to do is just put everything together and I'll show you that. So, be right back. Okay, so the last part to do while the oven cools off, sorry it's a bit loud is to combine the things. So we have our rice here. Rice. Going to do half the beef. This is 
is a two-person meal. Half of our salsa. It's very <laughs> thick salsa. I'm gonna leave like most of the juices in there, just because there was so much lime. Then we have our carrots. And mayo. I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. And finally, our grated cheese. rest of this will go into the second portion under here but I hope you enjoy I will give you some gratuitous food images and let you know how it tastes here is our bowl and I just want to get like a little bit of everything because I love the rice really good. I love like um like bowls of stuff where it's just like like this, like six or so ingredients just mixed together with rice. It's perfect. I love food. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with GB and I will see you next time.